You know, I, I, uh, I got a lot of respect for our, um, the players in that locker room. I've got a ton of respect. Um, I'm proud of that group. You know, I think um, we showed some resiliency tonight. Um, and look, you know, it's a challenge to be prepared to play physically, mentally, emotionally uh, when you come up short a couple weeks in a row, you know, and, and to have the team ready to play. I have to compliment the leadership. You know, I talked to the, the team Friday about, you know, leaders on a team, the best leaders make the other people around them better, right? They raise their level of play. They're really good teammates. They're invested in um, the other people in the organization. And ultimately, uh, they make everyone around them better, right? And I think that we had some guys that did a really good job in a tough week, the tough couple weeks here of being consistent in their example, the words, the actions, um, you know, and, and certainly having them ready to play. You know, I think defensively in particular, I thought we bounced back and, and played a good half of football there to start the game. So, you know, we're going to see when we watch the tape, we're going to see there's going to be opportunities, um, things we could have done better as a staff and certainly opportunities for players to make plays. But they battled. You know, I know what's inside the, those kids in there. I'm proud of that. Um, you know, credit to Missouri. You know, I think the game ultimately came down to a couple turnovers and uh, certainly a heck of a drive by a veteran quarterback there to end the game. So, um, yeah, battle. What questions we got here? Bill, can you provide an update on Graham and also yeah. what you saw from Max in his place? Yeah, Graham has a uh, non-displaced um, fracture of the, the collarbone. Um, so he'll be out for a little bit. Uh, probably, you know, we'll we'll have more information whether it's surgical or not. You know, I think right now the belief is it may not be. Okay, but we'll need to get more images before we make that decision. Either and, way, would that keep him out next week? Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll let you know Monday. Um, I don't want to speak on something where I don't have 100% of the facts. I just know that he's unavailable. We think it's pretty significant injury, but I, I can give you a more specific time on Monday. And, and you know, give Max some credit. Um, you know, Max settled in there a little bit and uh, made a few plays. Um, obviously, he's a, he's a good athlete, and uh, we were able to use his legs a little bit in the read game, and uh, he made some throws as well. So, um, you know, Max has worked hard. I can't – I can't uh, talk enough about how much improvement, you know, since the day, first day he got there. Uh, and he's a competitor, you know, I think um, ultimately he showed that. Fourth and 17, what was the defensive call and how did Burden kind of slip in there and make that catch? You yeah. Yeah, no, I, I – uh, yeah, we were in weak rotation. You know, we've got multiple players in the area, right, and we've got a, a four Russian um, and he found a soft spot in the zone there, you know, and I think um, those are things you'll – we'll look back at a number of plays in this game and we'll say we could have done a little bit better. Um, we had our opportunities for sure. Billy, when you see – when Graham's leaving the game uh, and what he's meant to the team with his durability and everything this year, offensive leadership, yeah. what, what's – what's the mood on the sideline and then the team kind of rallying? And, yeah. Yeah, you know, well, first of all, what a play, right? Um, what a play. I mean, you know, what a competitor, right? I mean, if Gator Nation doesn't respect Graham Mertz, okay, after watching him compete this year, then we got a problem, okay? I mean, this kid um, has been everything you would want from a teammate, uh, example, leader, work ethic, motivator, um, game day, you know, just put it on the line, right? And that play in particular uh, was a pretty special play. I mean, did, did you see our sideline when that happened, right? I mean, we I'm having to get them off the field, you know. Um, so, you know, and again, you can't compliment the kids enough, right? 
didn't tuck their tail and run away. I mean, nobody ran and hid. I mean, just put the backup in and let's go, right? And ultimately, I think we found a way to generate two possessions, right? Ten more points after that. So, um, you know, that's what I'm getting at. I mean, I, I know the scoreboard. Our record is not what we all know Florida football should be. Um, but I, I know what's in there. You know, and I think they've showed that pretty consistently. So, um, got to believe there's going to be some good come from it. You know, but right now, you know, we got a bunch of kids that are hurt. You know, I mean, hurting in here. And there's a lot of guys that played their butt off out there tonight. Um, so, what else we got? Coach, Top for a few more. Um, you know, just a little step. Just a little bit here, just a little bit there, just a step away, a couple plays, a couple turnovers in the last few games, and things could have been different. What's the what's the message that you keep giving your defense kind of as they go through those changes, particularly with some of the youth you have there? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's what you're doing. I mean, I, I think ultimately you're coaching a bunch of guys that have had zero experience prior to this year, you know. Um and, you know, I think um, that's what it is, you know. I mean, I think we're teaching football um, while we're competing at a high level, if that makes sense, you know. And I think, um, you know, I just think you got to continue to teach, you know. I mean, ultimately, we know what the issues are. I mean, whether it's a lot, communication, alignment, eye discipline, fundamentals, um, you know, we know what the issues are. We just ultimately got a, we got a bunch of guys out there that are playing college football. It's the first time they've done it, right? So um, we're not going to give them excuses, right? We're going to keep coaching them hard, keep give, keep giving them feedback, uh, and ultimately, you know, there's oper we have to all take ownership in this, right? It's it's my leadership, uh, it's it's my organization in terms of. Everything that we do, it's our defensive staff, it's each position coach. I mean, everybody contributes to what we see out there. Um, I know we're all quick to zero in on very specific things, but I think it's a, it's what makes it a great game is it requires a team effort to to play it. What's Max Last gonna question. Have, what's Max going to have to do to be able, ready for a game with a magnitude like Florida State um, in the South? Well, he just played against the number nine team in the country on the road, right? So, um, you know, he'll be a lot more prepared rather than not doing it, you know. So, um, look, Max is a worker. You know, he'll start uh, when he gets back Sunday. And we've got a routine for the quarterback. It's worked in the past. And we'll play to his strengths, you know. And, he, you know, there'll be some confidence that he can get from tonight after moving the team a little bit and making a handful of plays. And there'll be things that he learns from tonight that he can do better. Um, and I can tell you this, I think the players will rally around the situation, you know. I thought you saw a little bit of that tonight, mm -hmm. you know, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, Max has the respect of the team because he works his butt off and he's – Consistent. He's got character. Um, so, what a tremendous opportunity for a young player. Is, is that handoff exchange like something that's just because lack of experience and he's not yeah. maybe getting quite the reps he would that yeah. he's going to get this week? Yeah, that's the one that gets me. You know, um, you know, it's a lot going through a young man's, you know, mind. Um, ultimately. We got to do a better job. It's simple, simple fundamentals. Um, it's a play that he's run multiple times in his career. Um, we'll look at the tape, and I can tell you more. But I think it's just going to be very simple. Hit it, just ball hit the hip of the running back. Um, you know, and that's a big play in the game for sure.